What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and I'm very excited to uh, make this video. Uh, one of my first big time videos that a lot of people really enjoyed was me making a mount um, to mount my Xbox 360 controller to my Galaxy S6. And I had it remote streaming a desktop that we could play any game you wanted and it was Dirt Showdown that I actually um, showed on that. And it got a lot of interest. A lot of people wanted to know how to make them and I showed them how I made it but it was kind of just with spare parts that I happen to have around. It wasn't like an actual formula that people can go out and buy some ingredient list and make it themselves. Um, but it was just to show you how to get it working on the technical side, as well as my hardware solution to get it working. I was very excited to be browsing Amazon one day and I found this. This is exactly what I was hoping for with my concept. Um, it holds the the phone at an angle instead of just being straightforward. It has its own stand where you can stand it up um, and watch a movie or um, a cutscene as you're waiting or doing something else while you're playing the game. And it's just really, really cool. I set up Steam Link on here and it is so much better than whatever it was I was using before. Um, Steam Link is super, super fast. I actually uh, adjusted the settings and the advanced options to stream at 1080p, 60 frames a second, which is overkill. I should probably change that to 30 um, because I don't th even think my phone can do 60. Um, I mean, whatever. You know what I mean. Um, it's unnecessary for what we're doing. But even with 60 frames a second at 1080p full HD, um, it was able to stream with zero frame loss, which is very, very exciting. Um, the ping was also very low, and I'll show a screenshot of that. Um, you do need to have your gaming computer connected to Ethernet. You don't want to be doing wireless um, more than you have to. Like the phone's probably going to be wireless, so you don't want to have to have wireless going out as well. But if you um, have a strong local network, it's a great solution. I'll include some footage below. I tried to record the screen with my phone um, so that you can see the actual statistics of it but it actually slowed down Steam Link because my phone's not that new. So I'm not gonna include that because I don't wanna misrepresent the game or the the program itself because my experience was that it was not laggy at all. Um, and when I started recording the screen, it got a little laggy, so I don't wanna show that. But I will show you uh, recording on my old school camera um, what it looks like as well as a screenshot of the statistics in the advanced panel that way you can see how fast it's going but yeah I absolutely love this thing uh, we finally came full circle <laughs> that was actually one of my biggest videos um, on my channel I think it got over 300,000 330,000 views so um, it makes me really happy to find something that I could just buy online for under 10 bucks and um, get so much use out of it and I could play my entire Steam library from anywhere in the house on my phone anywhere anywhere really I mean, if I have a good enough connection, I wouldn't really want to play a racing game or a high-paced first-person shooter or something um, if I'm not home. But for Disgaea, Disgaea is great. I would love to play that on the on the road. Um, so yeah, I really thought this was cool and I wanted to share it with you guys because I think you guys might think it's cool too. All right, well, I'm kind of rambling, so I'll let you guys go. Have a great day. Peace.